Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm trying something new. When I got that camera holder, it also had a head mount as well. So I figured I'd try that out. As you can see, I am actually not working on final drives today. I am in the sprayer. So let's see how well this works. Might be kind of bouncy because the seat in this sprayer is, is like an air right, like an air or a spring right combination type of seat, so it gets kind of bouncy after a while. Try to hold it pretty steady here. But right now, though, I'm actually out here spot spring. In fact, that road right there is actually the county line road. Get that thing up out of the way. It's actually like a sun visor. It's actually pretty handy when it's, really, when it's real bright out. You drop that thing down, you can see right through it. And see what's going on. If I can almost go cross-eyed, look almost straight up, I can kind of see the back of my phone. So <laughs> we'll see how well this works. For some reason, it almost looks like rain, but my radar keeps showing clear. I hope we don't get any. At least not right yet. But I am actually spraying Enlist, which is basically a fancy form of 2,4-D on beans. In fact, earlier this morning I tried my, uh, well, that regular chest mount camera holder. Oh, well, it's kind of rough right there. Bounce along the end. But when I tried that holder, sure enough, the steering wheel, it was low enough that the steering wheel and the GPS is right smack dab in the way. So I figure, well, I'll kind of I'll kind of do like that, um, uh, Farmer over over there in southwest Southwest Ohio, Bain Farm. I know he'll he's got a mount for his GoPro. And so if you're well, I'll try it and stick it on top of my head and see how all that works. But with spot spraying, I am actually not spraying the entire field. What I do is I go around the entire outside perimeter and spray it spray a 90 foot perimeter all the way all the way around the entire field. And then um, this field here kind of has it going all the way across, but you can see that hill ridge coming up right there. I hope. Try to get the camera set just right. But we got that sand hill ridge almost running across the ent this entire field. This this field's 85 acres. It goes from the back county line right there all the way over a half mile that way to that road. In fact, that big gray house over there, that's actually uh, where my grandma used to live at before she passed away about five years ago. And so what I do, as you can see there on the GPS, it'll paint a line. Okay, you just saw it shut off. It'll paint that line every time I hit the master control button right down there on the floor. 
Well, I hope you can see that anyway. It's basically a dimmer switch like what you see in old vehicles. And so the main thing I'm going after out here is uh, weeds which generally pop up around the entire outside perimeter and especially on the end rows which is what this right here is, the south end row, end row of this 85 acres. I'll try not to turn my head too fast. <laughs> kind of easier said than done though. And then, um, like I say, Main thing is um, on the end rows is water hemp, which is um, a cousin to pigweed. And you also got uh, palmer, which is another cousin to pigweed as well. And so like right here, we got some water damage from the big flood we had back there in early June with that uh, five to six inches of rain we got dumped on us. So I kicked on right there, shut back off, and especially up over top of these sand hills, because of um, the dry, the hot, dry weather, you can get up here where the beans don't canopy over very well. And so right there, you can see like a bear, you can, see, you can still see the ground between the beans or between the rows. And with the rain that we have been getting, thankfully this past weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we got uh, an inch to 1.3 inches of rain. But with uh, late summer rain, it can cause them, um, you can get late grass wanting to grow. Let me tell you something, that's a lot of fun when you get, when, um, come fall time and you're trying to combine through that. It's like, cut, it's like cutting through rope. And so um, that's one of the main things I'm going after, which means I got to run the entire field just to hit that ridge. I did notice some weeds right here, and so I'm spraying right up to the end where I went across and then back off. Right there's a tile inlet that I got to spread over. though I know where to run because I can still see the old tracks from where I sprayed here approximately a month ago because you got two lines where the beans are, are a little bit shorter and so I know, I know that's where I need to turn back in because as you can see with no paint strip, you have no idea where to go. However, I'm not too sure how well you can see it on camera, but you can see two lines going right back down through there and so you can see your wheel tracks. And so first time I spray beans, beans is generally anywhere from about uh, June 15th up until about June 25th and second time over spot spraying can can be anywhere from July 15th through about uh, July 25th give or take a little bit and so but yeah like I say you can see that sand hill ridge going straight east over there and so like I say kind of a pain I gotta run this whole entire field spotting that sand hill and like I say we got this thin spot right here where we had that water damage in fact I'm trying to look up hopefully you can see a halfway decent video Hopefully it's not too bouncy. <laughs> I 
And so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I did get a phone call this morning from uh, the Agco dealer and that spacer for the final drive on that combine came in today and so Sunday afternoon my mom and dad went down to Cincinnati Ohio to see some friends of theirs and so I let my dad know and so when he's heading home this evening they'll stop by over there and pick it up that works out pretty good so I get that spacer put in get the file drive put back in the combine it'll be good to go again but yeah right there's a good example you can see how you got you can still see the ground the the beans themselves haven't closed over or canopied over however you want to call it and that lets all that grass and weeds and all that kind of stuff when I start growing again generally over top of sand hills we can get grass and or mare's tail growing also not really too much up on top of sand, I don't know why, will you find um, a water hemp or that pigweed. Generally for us, it's in the low ground like this. But up on top of that sand, you can, you, you'll usually find um, a lot of grass, lamb's quarter, and mare's tail. And around, in fact, this whole area, around here the mare the mare's tail and the water hemp are glyphosate resistant or roundup resistant roundup does not kill them but the enlist however definitely cleans them up however you would be surprised with that water hemp I'll still see in areas when you go when you go through and spray it. Of course, it kills just like 2,4-D kill. It'll gooseneck that those weeds way over and curl them all up. You would think they'd be dead. Some of them, however, they'll gooseneck all around, curl all up. A couple weeks later. You'll see a you'll see a new sprout coming right coming right back up off of them. And so they're a hard weed to kill. another thing that um, so far we don't have it yet unfortunately a neighbor literally across the road from us has it and that is burr cucumber just imagine cucumber plants in your garden vining everywhere okay now take the now burr cucumber is basically that on steroids. Just imagine cucumber vines in the corn. That's our that's the neighbor's cornfield right there. Literally growing up the corn to the top and then it starts vining out over the top of the plant. You talk about a mess when it comes to going through the with the combine with the corn head on. I had one guy tell me, he said, you know it's bad when you can sit in the corner of the field with the combine, kick the machine in gear, and due to all that vine, half the cornfield just comes right to you. <laughs> That's not a very good day. 
and we noticed it here probably about I'm gonna guess about two years ago now it's starting in their field and it has literally exploded going everywhere out there and like I say it's across the road from us this year our field we got beans in fact I was down there just this morning I didn't see anything out there I don't know what poor cucumber does in soybeans and to tell you the truth I don't really want to find out the problem is though trying to catch it in order to spray it because this enlist that I'm spraying right now would kill it however it doesn't come on or start germinating and start really growing until late in the season long about uh, the middle of July and into August well by that time the corn's way up high you can't really spray because it's way too tall and so um, it's something they just got to keep a close eye out on if you see it popping up uh, grab a grab a hand sprayer and start spraying it and so yeah that's just a little video of what I'm doing today so I'm gonna stop down here at the end Call this the end of this video. So hey, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button or hit the subscribe if you're new. We'll see you next time.